Hey, hello guys, welcome to my channel. No, 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 I don't do them things. Yo guys, what's good? This is my top five planche exercises. Let's go. Please, sir, help me. Hi. This is a planche video, bro, not front lever video. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So you're my personal favorite, I can't lie, even till this day, resistant band planche. My personal favorite. The reason why is, what's the reason why? What is your reason why? What Jay? is my reason why? <laughs> the reason why it's my personal favorite is because you get to work on your form, your alignment, and you get to have a little bit of assistance. It's all right to get a little bit of assistance. I've been doing calisthenics for nine years, nearly 10, and still till this day, I use this. Get me? So we're gonna go straight into resistance band planche. You wanna place the band on your hips. The reason why you wanna place the band on your hips is because it's the center of balance point when it comes to planche. When you're planching, your hands should be in line with your hips. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't be leaning too much. You shouldn't be too much in a push-up position. You wanna be perfectly in line. Perfectly in line. Scapula engaged, shoulders depressed, not too hollow like a turtle we're not turtles out here you want your shoulders down hips and glutes engaged posterior pelvic tilt and pushing through your arm driving through your biceps shoulders to your core core engaged at all times can you see that see that see that put the band down on your hips you can do this on the floor you can do this on p-bars reason why i do it on p-bars is because you can mix up the grip and I'll be real, I love P-bars compared to the floor. Floor is so much more harder. You're gonna start in a push-up position, engage everything before you start leaning. Do you understand me? Engage everything and then walk into it. You wanna use your arms to push up. You see what I did there? You wanna use your arm to push yourself up into that horizontal position. Allow yourself to lean enough, then push up. I'll go again. Hold as long as you can. Minimum of 10 sets. Minimum, 10 sets of everything. That's the Spartan way. That's what we do. So my guy like Arbs just asked me, why do we place it on our hips and not our feet? You wanna see why I don't place it on my feet? Watch, just watch, watch. Watch what the band does to me. My little puny self. Can, can you see what's happening right now? The band is taking me up to heaven. So that's why we put it in a Perfect balance point where the planche is supposed to be. And again, all the same explanations from before. Let's go big man. Nice. Lovely. Lo oh, you cheeky, cheeky bugger. Woo! You cheeky bugger. You are. So this exercise is Sensei's personal favorite. He loves doing this. We're going from handstand to a planche. You can do this in a straddle, you can do this in a tuck, you can do this in a pull. Any type of planche will do. So the key to this exercise is to obviously start in a handstand. Keep nice and clean, nice and tidy. Engage all your muscles at the start from the top. And then you want to slowly do a negative downward. Your arms straight, your core engaged, glutes engaged. You're loading more weight onto your shoulders, onto your biceps. Strengthening those tendons of yours, shoulders, your glutes. So as you can see, you can rep these out. They will suck at the start and sometimes you won't even get in the right position, in that horizontal position. Sometimes you end up like this, but it's fine. Rep it out and you'll gradually get there. Look at his crackhead veins, bro. This is all from planching. 
nuts. Listen, we got the dirtiest planche exercise right now. Dirty. When I mean dirty, it's dirty, T, T, T. Only reason why I'm saying that is because this one absolutely sucks on my shoulder. Leave a comment below and tell me which exercise out of all of these five exercises you find the hardest. For me, it's definitely this one. We're going for the planche lean push-up. Start on the floor. Again, you can do this in any grip. Pronated, side, supinated. You can even do it in a Maltese, but that will really, really suck. And it'll, you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do it in semi-side to supinated grip, yeah? I'm gonna start in a push-up position, as usual. Start in a push-up position. And again, straight away, engage your glutes and do your posterior pelvic tilt and engage your scapula. You wanna walk, look at my feet. Zoom into the feet. You wanna walk. Yeah, walk into the position now. I'm in the lean. Once you're in the lean, that leaning position, you want to put your point your toes as much as you can. Yeah, elbows tight. Keep them elbows tight, close to your body. Push up and then back up. The most common mistake that you see people do is they'll banana on the way up. We don't do bananas. We eat them. We don't become them. You get me? You get? Me? So you want to go down as low as you can and try not to banana push up like this because this is all wrong you want to keep that hollow you want to keep yourself hollow your shoulders rounded off shoulders depressed glutes engaged posterior pelvic tilt all of them things there go all the way low as you can push keeping your glutes and everything engaged and make sure you're leaning at all times if the moment you stop the lean it just becomes a normal push-up so keep leaning Fam, my, my knees, every time I do it, my knees, yeah, they, 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 like, yeah, they do that. It's the best thing I could do, straighten them out. Point your toes, for one. Another Stretch one? your hamstrings. Oh, that's one thing one. I hate, bro, I hate that. Oh! More glutes for me, though, yeah? Yeah, oh, bro, come on, let's go. Hey, more glutes, more glutes. Hey. Hey. Our rule is, you know you're not leaning enough when you don't end in a face plant. If your head, if your face doesn't hit that floor, you're not committing, you're not leaning. You gotta lean. You gotta lean. Lean. You hear me? What are you doing? No scaring them with your knees, fam. Bro, you know what, yeah? I got dry knees, you know why? Because I commit to my planche leans. Get me? I commit. And Royal Oak's got this floor and it's like gritty on my knees. So man got dry knees forever, but I can planche. I don't care. So yo guys, in this exercise right here, we're gonna be doing L-sit to planche. You can do it in any variation you want. So you can go L-sit to full, L-sit to straddle, L-sit to top planche, top, L-sit to tuck planche mix it up the most important thing is you're trying to hold at the back when you're planching and you're using a, I would say a little bit of momentum all right so let's start from the bit basic your arms are straight of course and when you're at the back of the planche you want to really really try hold this will help you with your shoulder depression as you can see here shoulder depression your shoulder and bicep endurance and this will help you from planching from the bottom all the way up you can always regress and rep this out. That's the most important thing about this. You can rep this out and you can use a little bit of momentum, like I said at the start. Going from here, a little bit of momentum, and we call it controlled momentum. This is controlled. This is controlled, you see that? And this is something that we don't want. Show them that was something that we don't want. Now this is just pure swinging. This is just a waste of time. Yeah, you might might enjoy yourself but to get into the planche you're gonna need to try squeeze and hold at the, at the back hold hold and again shoulder depression practice shoulder endurance bicep endurance yeah so the most bam i just spat all over my shoulder the most common mistake you'll see is a lot of people using their ass 
and they're here trying to back themselves up. This is not carnival, yeah? We're not out here twerking. Again, posterior pelvic tilt. If you want to swing and use a little bit of momentum, you can do so, but use it on your arms. See it there? You don't want this. Most common thing that we see. That is dead form. Dead! In this exercise, we're gonna be doing supinated, pronated, even parallel pike raises. This exercise is great for trying to get your hips up without using your hips. I'm gonna do it in supinated because you know me, I love a supinated grip. Depress your shoulders again, engage your core, and scapula. You see what I did? I rounded off my scapula, you see that? And then you wanna push with your palms and your shoulders and your biceps and get your hips as high as you can. This is really gonna help you to get your hips up without using your hips. The most common mistake, again, is twerking your way up. You don't wanna be doing them things there. None of them things there. Keep everything tight. And lean over slightly. You wanna lean over just a touch, get me? Just a, just a little bit. You can do this on parallel bars. That's what I love about this exercise. You can do this on parallel bars. Start here. Engage your scap, depress your shoulders, engage your core, posterior pelvic tilt. I like the way I did that, posterior pelvic tilt. And you wanna push and lean. Push with straight arms and lean. If you find it hard to get your hips up, this is great exercise. Finger your bloody shoulder, bro. Don't touch me! Bruh. Guys, thank you for watching. You can get our parallettes and our chalk on our website right here. Here's our Instagram handles. And yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Please tell me your favorite exercise in the comments below. Like, subscribe, all of them things there. Bless.